defence, where Bittersweet Symphony landed very steeply and lost several places as a result. Uberman declining the early gallop last. Alberic settles one from the back. They're all over the old water jump and bearing right onto the next line of fences. Master Malcolm, the leader chased by Cara de Flo. And then the knot is tied, improving between rivals to be prominent followed by Abea du Matan racing wide. Wider still is Bittersweet Symphony. Zuckerberg's up the inside, jumping the open ditch in the back straight, where Uberman blundered badly, and the rider is immediately pulling him up. So Uberman departs the scene as the leaders jump the fifth, last on the back straight, first time round. Master Malcolm from the knot is tied, who's taken second on the inside of Caro de Flo. Zuckerberg rides the rail, then Alberic taking closer order in front of Abea du Matan. And after an early mistake, Bittersweet Symphony brings up the rear after Uberman's disappearance. On the approach to the home straight, where fences six, seven, and eight await them, Master Malcolm has now been headed by the Notties Tide as they prepare to swing in, couple of lengths ahead of Caro de Flo, then Zuckerberg, Abea de Matan. Albrecht held up between rivals, and finally, Bittersweet Symphony coming to jump fence number six. Master Malcolm retains his advantage, a narrow one over the Notties Tide. They're about four lengths clear of Caro de Flo coming over fence number seven. Master Malcolm jumping soundly at the head of affairs. Cara de Flo went right-handed in third, ahead of Abea de Matan, Zuckerberg, Alberic, and finally Bittersweet Symphony on this long gallop between fences seven and eight. The Notties Tide is back up sides. Master Malcolm nosing on as they pass the judge. And they're five or six lengths clear of the chasing cluster comprising of Cara de Flo and Abea de Matan, and then Alberic and Bittersweet Symphony and Zuckerberg as lost ground, dropped back last, jumping the final fence up the home straight, where the Notties Tide went left, heading towards the box park, getting a reminder to get back on an even keel, and he's regained a share of the lead with Master Malcolm. The chasing group have closed up behind the front pair after covering a circuit. Alberic has made significant headway to go third on the inside of Cara de Flo, then follows a Bea de Matan and Bittersweet Symphony. Doesn't look any way back for Zuckerberg, who jumps the first fence in the back straight, detached by eight lengths. Bittersweet Symphony is now beginning to labour over the stretch fence. Master Malcolm from the Notties Tide, three lengths to Alberic, Cara de Flo, and a Bayer de Matan. Bittersweet Symphony not looking especially keen is five lengths behind those. And then three times that distance back to Zuckerberg. The knot is tied. Upsides Master Malcolm jumping five out with a Bayer de Matan going third on the outside of Alberic, who's now being chivied along. Caraday Flow switched to the outside of those going over the open ditch, but was slow and loses touch with the leading quartet. It looks as though Abea de Matan is poised to be pulled up and Master Malcolm jumps the third from home with a clear lead. Abea de Matan threw into second, Alberic on the inside. They've both gone past the Notties Tide as they leave the back straight behind them. You've got to look 12 or 15 lengths back to Caro de Flo. Zuckerberg is still soldiering on, but Bittersweet Symphony was pulled up. Master Malcolm has all of his rivals off the bridle on the approach to the home straight and a lead bordering on half a dozen lengths. Abea de Matan on the outside of Alberic, both hard at work in second and third. The Notties Tide is a poo of fourth and losing ground all the while on the leading trio. Cara de Flo is tailed off. Master Malcolm with a 12-length advantage, closing in on the penultimate fence. Comes into the wings of it, jumped it as well as he has the other fences. Now 15 lengths up on Alberic and Abea de Matan. The knot is tied. Cara de Flo and Zuckerberg as Master Malcolm 
sailed out over the final fence, jumped it 20 lengths clear. The battle on for second with a Bayer de Matin holding that position, but the Notties Tide has rallied to go past Albrecht. The leader, though, is 50 yards from home, Master Malcolm, who's made the bulk of the running under James Best for Emma Jane Bishop, winning by a wide margin. Master Malcolm, the Notties Tide rallies to take a poor second on the run-in off of Bayer de Matin, who's home in third, and Caro de Flo gets the better of Albrecht near the finish to get up for fourth. Zuckerberg was the last home. Jonathan Neeson is too modest a modest man to say, I told you so, but you did told us so, Jonathan. Uh, he's three to one, he's won. I, can't, I still can't believe this. I mean, that's what should have happened, really. It doesn't always happen that way, but I mean, he's the only, he jumped far better than everything else, which helped. And what should have been a, a, a win turned out into a complete rout because all the major rivals made at least one terrible mistake pretty early on. And he's just romped home. He's jumped fine. He's made the running. No, no nonsense. The form of the second here has worked out an absolute treat. And I can't understand why. He was allowed to go off at that price, and he was even bigger before Caparian came out. Anyway, there we go. He's dotted up. He has dotted up. The knot is tied, took him on in the early part of the race. Actually, it was a bit awkward going out. Uh, he's done a lot wrong, the knot is tied, and it's, at least it says something to his credit that he's finished second because he, he didn't want to go out to the final circuit. He didn't jump particularly well. Uh, there's one pretty bad mistake early on from him, but he's, he's kept at it. A bear de Matan who, well, it's been a while since he's shown decent bit of form. He was down to his career low mark today, but at least this was something a little bit better. On his 27th outing since coming over from France 15 months ago. Yes, he hasn't been running particularly well. The, perhaps he just enjoyed the fact he wasn't in a military race <laughs> at Sandown, which I think gave him a great shock. Alberic, second run after the wind up, that was better. Well, it appeared to be, didn't it? But having looked like the only conceivable danger to the winner, he then wasn't any danger pretty mm. soon after that. Um, there was a bad mistake early on from Bittersweet Symphony. There was a bad mistake early on from Uberman, you know, who were both prominent at the betting. I mean, they, they couldn't really have made it any more easy for the winner. <laughs> I was going to ask, <laughs> what were you thinking at this moment, having played well, a just... veiled... I, mean, I literally, I was almost in a state of shock. I, <laughs> because when they go on the drift, you can't help but think something's going to go wrong. Yes. When they've been back from 10s to 5 to 2, you, you just automatically think at this point, well, he's going to romp home. Well, Let's, but anyway, uh, yeah, he, he's absolutely dotted up. He has come home. He is clean as a whistle as well in comparison to some of his rivals because he's been out in front all the way and he has won with any amount in hand in this sort of company today. He has bolted up Master Malcolm. Um, it was the first topic of discussion Jonathan and I had here today at Huntingdon. Thank you.